Hey, what's up? I'm here with Graham and Brian from Holy Fuck. What's up, guys? Hey. Thanks for coming in. Mm -hmm. Thanks for mm -hmm. having us. It's a three-peat. Yeah. Um, did you guys think that uh, your career would go this far? Um, you're on the second full length, almost kind of a third album, though. Yeah, it's, um, a, it's like the third full length. Um, sure. I, 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 Great I, answer. We, well, we, uh, <laughs> why not? You know, we, we knew that we wanted to play music and record music, and we still want to keep recording and playing music. I don't think anyone can ever really uh, anticipate where something's going to go. I don't know if we thought we'd be playing really big festivals and getting a chance to tour the world and do that stuff, but, but we thought we'd be at least recording records. How did you guys go, I mean, we'll talk about the new record, but like you were in By Divine Right, mm -hmm. so how did you go from sort of that rock sound to, I guess, a more electronica-based sound? Uh, I don't know, I mean, it, By Divine Right was a stretch for me too because I'd never really played rock and roll before, so I didn't really know a lot about rock and roll guitar. I, I sort of started playing guitar more from like tune it weird and start making up your own kind of noisy, you know, heavy punk rocky stuff and and it was that was fun and I think there, there was a big challenge present itself when I had to like try to wrap my head around more typical rock and roll stuff um, so to go to something more experimental again was sort of how I started and, and for me in the beginning it was all I got a four track you know record cassettes and I would do lots of experimental stuff with Casios and plugging things in and making atmospherics and putting delay pedal on records and I think this was an extension of that. It certainly was never an attempt to do electronica. Yeah, I don't think we even really approached the writing of our music with the, the same way that, like, you know, typical electronic artists do with, uh, you know, programming and stuff like that. Like, I, 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 I don't know, but I, I think that we do come at it. Our electronic, whatever you want to call it, our specific brand of music, was still with a bit of a, rock, a punk rock attitude in, in some mm -hmm. ways. Well, I mean, let's let's talk about that. I mean, you, you guys make uh, music a little bit differently than most bands make music, um, especially I guess electronic bands, for lack of a better term. But you know, there's a, a, a laptop sitting right over there, but you guys don't have any, right? Mm -hmm. Not when we perform. No. I yeah. email on one. Yeah, I go on. <laughs> I live on eBay and uh, I do that kind of stuff. Yeah, we use computers on eBay to find cool stuff to use to plug <laughs> yeah. in on stage, like that. Yeah. And we record onto a computer. I mean, it seems like the easiest way to record. We're not like out there trying to like uh, carve ceramic discs or something. And you know, we're yeah. we're still like doing things like everybody else is doing it. We're just you know, in that way, like we play sounds on on things, tactile instruments that you plug in and that make sounds in the same way that you could pick up a guitar and strum it and make a sound. You could also go on to a computer and find a MIDI guitar and do all your guitar with, a, with your fingers. It's sort of the same, that's how I, I consider it the same difference. It's like we don't program because we never learned how to program and we don't own the software to program and that's just not how we made music in the same way that a lot of other bands don't program and make music like that. So you guys will record into like Pro Tools or whatever. Mm -hmm. Well. I'll now, what are some of the non-instruments that you guys use? Because I thought that was pretty cool. So, do you, like, how do you? What, what makes a good non-instrument? Right. We, we want things that make sound and stuff. And oftentimes they're disguised as instruments. Mm -hmm, yeah. <laughs> they're like, they're yeah. like, here's an instrument for someone who's never going to use it as an instrument. Like something you buy for a dollar at Value Village that's meant for kids. You know, we don't want it to be like goofy or like this kind of like blue man group kind of spectacle. <laughs> but yes, I'm playing a, a pink keyboard with a puppy dog on it you know what I mean? <laughs> that just happens to be what it looks like yeah. but I really like the sound of the dog barking or whatever it was like <laughs> I think that's neat especially when it's plugged into an amp and you crank it up and you put distortion and, and <laughs> yeah and, it's like, <laughs> and you get drums playing over it yeah. Yeah, and it's like everything's really exciting and it's, it's, a, it's a blast it's so much fun and it's it's not a musical instrument even though it's a plastic replication of like a real music instrument. <laughs> yeah, I guess it all depends on what your term a musical instrument really mm. is. That's it all depends. I don't know. Well, I mean, that's kind of punk rock right there. I mean, just breaking down that entire, you know, wall of what's a musical instrument. Mm -hmm. um, you guys were in a in a Dodge commercial, mm -hmm. and I yeah. watched an interview, and uh, you had had mentioned playing the song live, and then you pictured the commercial, yeah. and that bugged you a bit. Yeah, I watched the commercial once on YouTube, and then that night we played the song, and I thought of this, like, 
<laughs> mud spraying and children in the car and like it, it was all of a sudden I was like this sucks like I don't want to think of my music that way but I, I at the same time don't think that it sucked to get that opportunity to play, to have uh, some money to help us make another record and to and you know and, and also a lot of people heard about us that way like mm -hmm. I don't think that sold any cars. Maybe it did. I don't. I don't. Yeah. The reason why I say I don't think it sold any cars is because that's not how I think. It's not like if my girlfriend or I are in the market of buying a car, we're like, "What car are we gonna buy?" And then, well, this one has a cool song. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah. you know, I don't think people are buying it from the song. So I don't. It, it, it's just some weird way of like, you know, doing something. Yeah, and plus, it's like, you know, all we really want to do at the end of the day is just make music. So. If it means, uh, you know, letting uh, Dodge to borrow your song for six months mm -hmm. for a certain amount of money, and then you, you, that will facilitate you not having to do anything else. But You're not so, having a real job. We're not having, you know, you can <laughs> then sit at home and stay at home and work on music, which is all that I really, we all really want to do at the end of the day. So, I mean, you know, th there's different. Maybe under different circumstances, we wouldn't license our song to like. Sure, the, we know, didn't have to be in the car with Ronald McDonald mm -hmm. sitting yeah. next to us, and Uncle Sam and there the was that, uh, Baby Panda uh, murdering uh, company that wanted to borrow our <laughs> song too. We kind of turned them down because that's that a good call. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's a, draw the line somewhere. Um, I guess like you know, ten years ago, let's say you guys were around. Mm -hmm. Would that have even been a decision for you? Probably not, I guess. I mean, the music industry's changed because, again, mm -hmm. of computers. Yeah. I think maybe 10 years ago, it's, it would have been easier to say no to something, like because you might be like, well, you know, much music still will play our video or something like right. that. Yeah, yeah, maybe yeah. not with the name, though. I don't know. Like things, like, things have changed in a way for us for the better. But there's also the medium is totally different now. And I, I think we have to be creative in figuring out how we can continue to do this in a way that is, like, it can be more than just a hobby and is creatively fulfilling. You need to put time and effort into it. And um, things change. I don't know. Maybe once upon a time we would have gotten radio play or something. But then again, probably not. <laughs> <laughs> We're probably better off in, in this day and age than ever. Yeah. Hey, we'll play your song, man. Yeah. Nice. Woo. Uh, let's, talk about the, let's talk about the new record. Uh, why is it called Latin? I know that's like a very generic question that you ask bands is what's the title mean? Mm -hmm. But... Is there a Latin influence on this record? I mean, is it not? A, not no, not really. No. Just the funny thing to is, is confuse the hell out of everybody. It, well, yeah, I guess we did. We did end up because the thing is, is we were tying, we were throwing around a bunch of uh, a bunch of ideas to you know what are we going to title the record and you know we had within the band or there's a lot of words and phrases thrown around and over the past year and things stick and um, but at the end of the day the the one the the we didn't want to title the record anything that was too overtly uh, uh, imageful. Yeah. It's a word like, you know, like, um, it's, you know, certain things, would, they, they were just, yeah, conjured up too much imagery and, and, and colored it too much, which you didn't want. So Latin, which was a, 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 a you know, a, a term in, a, in a, a rhythmic style that has been popping up a lot in the band lately, um, that uh, we just felt that maybe to title the record Latin, it would just be blank and not very generic and not. So not we wouldn't open. get asked. Yeah, so we wouldn't get <laughs> that's asked. That's what we well, thought. Sorry. Yeah, no, that's yeah. okay. Yeah. My bad. Yeah. No, that's all right. We've been asked by everybody, so we kind of failed at our mission to do something really <laughs> neutral. But but it, I think at the very least, hopefully, it doesn't conjure too much imagery. Like, mm -hmm. like Graham said, it's kind of the way we see all of our songs. It's an instrumental band. Um, we don't want. We don't want to have to tell people what it's about. We like the idea that people can have their own ideas and their own things. 